Today is the 26th of October, Tuesday, 2021, 2021, 2021. A very warm welcome to the show from viewers from around the world, subscribers, non-subscribers, members and non-members. You are more than welcome to do this. Today we're having a look at what's happening in the country of Taiwan and also the free gorges, some of the China headlines as well. Where to be for the next 10, 15, maybe 20 minutes is right here, right now. So, grab your coffee, let's do it. And don't forget that thumbs up, that would be magnificent. And for all those thousands of people who haven't subscribed, just press that button. You'll be delighted because near enough there's a show every day. Now, let's roll into it right now. Now, this is a little bit serious to start off with. We'll talk about the country of Taiwan. And on Sunday, there was a magnitude 6.2 stroke 6.4 earthquake in Taiwan. And you can see some of the images here of the earthquake report. By all means, put this on pause and you can read it in more detail. You can see the actual island of Taiwan there, right next to the country of the island of Taiwan, right next to the country which is separate to Taiwan, the People's Republic of China. It's just only a stone's throw away. And here is a picture of something that didn't go too well with the earthquake a couple of days ago. Let's have a read from the Taiwanese or the Taiwan news of what happened. Several people were injured by the magnitude 6.5 quake, including a woman who was stuck in between falling rocks hiking in a group of nine in a national park in Taiwan in a certain county, Hulien, I think it is. Also, a number of buildings across the country suffered minor damage. A car was struck by falling rocks on, a, on the Hua Highway. The jib of a crown crane my computer just flashed for some unknown reason, on top of a high-rise was bent by 90 degrees in New Taipei City. Take two, a powerful magnitude 6.5 earthquake struck northeastern Taiwan, 111 <laughs> p.m. October the 24th, according to Central Weather China Bureau. The epicenter was of the trembler was located 22.7 kilometers south of Yilan, County Hall with a focal depth of 66.8 kilometers. Taiwan uses intensity scale of 1 to 7, which gauges the degree to which the quakes is filled in that certain location. The quakes intensity registered as a 4 in Yilan County and all these other areas as well, and the intensity level was 3 in some other counties as well and the intensity level of two you can read here of some more counties in the country of taiwan and if there are any more updates related to that we will keep you informed with that but let's move on to the weather related to central china and the things about the free gorges dam for today let's have a look Okay, looks like this. The paw print is right near enough ish, very ish, on the Free Gorges Dam. And the same as yesterday, not much to report. Some skitter scatter, pitter patter of rain here and there, some in Chongqing towards the southwest, and pretty dry, but I can imagine slowly but surely it's getting colder. Next month, at the end of next month, you may be able to see some snow if any kind of camera is back up there again and some more rain just to the south of the you could say Yangtze Basin. And the levels look like this you can see here the chart and I'm also going to show these individually as well. Three gorges look like this now this has gone up 24-hour period, this is 173.95 all the way up to 174.15. And if we go to Kutan at the beginning of the Free Gorges Reservoir, that has 
in the 24 hour period has gone up as well. It was 175.25 and it's 175.4. Only centimeters, but has gone up. It's like a yo-yo at the moment. It's going up and it's going down. And the webcam, guess what? If you go to the live stream, it just looks like this. This constantly seems to go on, and it is said that the Free Gorges Dam has fallen October the 20th. Can you find any footage downstream? Finding webcams in China is quite a rarity. You, you, there's thousands of websites that do webcams, and it's quite rare that any of them actually work, especially in China. And they would always be monitored and always controlled. So if there's anything sensitive, it would just be either turned off or they'd move the camera. Or it's just that something from the $1 shop in Wuhan and it's a cheapy old camera and it's only going to last a couple of days. So, no. Now, I said this quite a few times and I just want to show you a some clippings of where you may think the free gorge is um, has fallen and if you go to the or oh, I will go to the next picture here and just look at YouTube for you just have a look it's just constantly about collapses and a lot of people just do this for views and I still don't get it why people fall into this kind of blunder anything near enough with a computer voice I would say is just not there what they do they get old information from Google quite simply uh, record the voice and then put it onto some pictures and do a devastating title. The old thing in the news business is that, oh, how to say, disasters sell. Um, I hate to say, but it's near enough true. Here is an article I found more about the Free Gorges Dam reads like this. China is witnessing the worst floods in decades in southern regions above and below the Free Gorges Dam along the Yangtze River. The massive runoff of the Yangtze has left concerns that the Free Gorges Dam will be overstressed beyond the capacity to withstand the inflow. The unprecedented series of massive rainstorms that the Yangtze Basin has led to a massive inflow of water, which increases the dams, the stress of the dams in the region. The Free Gorges is one of the most popular dams in the country. It is located in the scenic gorges of the Yangtze. Now, this was a report from earlier this year, and this is a report that we get every year. Now we're coming like to the aftermath of the floods for 2021 is all going to be quiet for until you could say May 2022 but we can learn from what is happening getting information out as I said from China is like finding a needle in a haystack it's quite difficult you just can't just go to Google you have to go to various sources you have to know quite a few people and if they are willing to talk it's great that there are some applications like Telegram, for example, which is heavily encrypted so people can't actually listen. And you can get it in China. I was speaking to a engineer in Wuhan, no, not in Wuhan, in Beijing a couple of days ago, and we can talk quite openly because of the encrypted encryption. But I sort of digress a little bit. Sorry, I'm just explaining that, oh, these monkeys. Let me just take a break. Hold on. I might as well just leave the videos on behind. These are just videos I've made in the past, and one was about the monkeys in very close to the city here, and this is just my moving day. I got a TV, but I don't even use it, so I thought I'd use it as a bit of background. I, I apologize if it distracts anyone. So, information like this is really hard to find. It's near enough impossible to verify, but I do my best just to show you the realistic truth compared to some other websites. Every day they would say Free Gorges Dam collapses, like it has collapsed 100%. And again, quite often on the comments, I will get someone who says it has, um, it has collapsed. If it had, again, this is a repeat, and I sort of apologize for this as well, that it would be the biggest catastrophe in the world. Imagine... Genghis Khan 
Genghis Khan, one in ten people, for example, uh, is they say is related to Genghis Khan, the Mongolian leader hundreds or thousands of years ago who invaded China and basically uh, got rid of 25% of the world's population, reducing the pollution by 25%, and that's close to 40 million. That's a headline. Yeah. But this one, if it did go down, this is ten, tenfold. This is like 400 million whose lives will be definitely upset. And the 15% of the world's economy will be going absolutely cuckoo. I'll try not to repeat this again, but if you do watch these videos with a computer voice showing floods, but they don't actually show the actual dam breaking, because it will be there eventually, that no one could hide this. It's going to be a big bit of news. What else is happening in China? These are headlines from the Global Times, just one or two I think I got today. Anniversaries push China's patriotism nat national pride to new heights. Chinese netizens flooded social media with tributes to national heroes sacrificed for the country's peace and prosperity, as well as China's dedication to safeguarding the international order and world peace. I would say a high percentage of the world, yes, we want world peace. And in many countries, you would have Remembrance Day in the UK, Memorial Day in the USA, I think, and etc. China has one too. But how do Chinese government know that, that they are loved? A lot of the CCP shills, the foreigners who promote Chinese propaganda, would say 90% actually really do like the government. How do they know about this? Well, quite simply, they would go into a shopping centre and there is a person asking about what you think of the Xi Jinping and the cronies, etc. Or a like a studio box, a really small box, like a telephone box where you can actually voice your opinion. Here's the catch. You've got to show your ID card. So, of course, people are going to say yes, because if they say no, then obviously it's going to be... Uh, a knock at the door and just to make them sound good they're going to knock off 10% if you lived in a authoritarian state you would do exactly the same just for peace of mind get it over with don't bother me squeaky chair and the other headline I found quite interesting again with Taiwan one China principal only routes for route for Taiwan Island to attend international events. Um, the CCP at the moment is trying to kind of like get the two countries, the two separate countries together, but I'm sure the Taiwanese people don't. The reason being, it's the same kind of thing. Everything they do, all sweet and all nice. And if they actually say yes, then after a couple of years, things all change around and Taiwan will get choked <laughs> like that. Just like you could say, and I hate to say, Hong Kong. I did actually find one more piece. Um, she reiterates China's role in defending United Nations mandates. Um, he is there, like, promoting China, and again, just being as sweet as Rosa, saying, everything's okay. All these you can quite easily find if you go to globaltimes.cn on Google, and it's all in English, and you can see, you can agree or you can disagree with all the propaganda. It won't do any kind of negative things, it always does positive things. And the thing with journalism in China now, it's done in a Marxism way, it has to be. The journalists, basically, 90 hours every year of training of Marxism. So it's all a positive spin, even the negative of what's happening in China. Coming up very soon, but not the big news, is a parody, which I haven't done yet, but I will do a little bit later today, as Western media lies. BBC, Fox and CNN got it all wrong. Want to find out more? Then just hit the notification button, subscribe and like. Join me on Twitter, and when it is broadcast, it should be you should get a notification, a beep beep, on your phone.
And the comment of the day goes to Susan. Good morning to you and Tokyo. Hope you're having a peachy day. Many blessings. Thank you, Susan. Let me give you some peachy fruits in return. And that is about it for today. I hopefully will see you tomorrow, wherever you are in the world. Thank you for your time. Hope you enjoyed your coffee with me. And I will see you for another show very soon. Ali Badachi, sayonara. Bye-bye.